my name is Devon Cruz, and the ATV meal deal tonight, we'll be talking about high school dropouts. More specifically, the pros and cons, problems and solutions of high school dropouts in Texas. According to IJ.org, Texas is failing to graduate one out of every five students, which translates to losing 11 students per hour, making the Texas graduation rate 71.9% each year, which means that 30% of that class isn't graduating. Ring, that ranks the state at 36 nationally, according to TexasTribune.org. The dropout population is th 130,000, or the size of McAllen, Texas. That's pretty big if you ask me. The problems with dropping out is, are that students who drop out don't get the same opportunities as students who graduate from high school, because most jobs require you to have a high school diploma in order to work there. So your salaries may be low and your job options are limited. Another problem is that you may face social stigma. Social stigma is the disapproval of a person or a group that differs from their cultural norms, which is like sexual orientation, gender identity, physical disability, or mental illness. And the list goes on. People who drop out also have a higher chance of being involved with the criminal justice system, according to do.mas.edu. Uh, those are just some of the dilemmas with dropping out of high school. Thank you for your time. Every nine seconds, an American student drops out of school. Texas alone makes up 2.5% of the United States dropout rate. According to the IDRA, the Intercultural Development Research Association, Texas fails to graduate one out of every five students, meaning four out of the 20 students in our class alone could possibly be at risk. Collectively, between the years 2017 and 2018, Texas failed to graduate 94,767 students. Now you may ask, why do students choose to drop out of school? From family experience, both my cousin Jason and Matthew dropped out of school due to a lack of motivation to show up every day to an environment that is stressful. Why is high school a stressful environment? Because you're put under the pressure to complete an assignment, multiple assignments on a harsh deadline. You have to go there and put up with the kids who are constantly judging each other and picking on one another. Not everybody can put up with that. For students like them, schools nationwide are working together to get those students who have dropped out back in. They do so through groups such as the National School Board Association. In Austin, Texas, schools use a solution-focused approach to both prevent and help get students who have dropped out back in. The program was created in 2001 by a task force of educators, parents, and alongside the community. Another solution is an impact team, which is used to address attendance, behavioral, and academic problems with various levels. Austin's Gonzalo Garza High School was opened in 1999 and is an open enrollment high school. The school also allows open exit. The school has said to remove traditional barriers to high school completion by providing things such as flexible scheduling, extensive support, and clear codes of conduct with consistent enforcement. There's a new epidemic sweeping across the nation. And no, I'm not talking about the coronavirus. I'm talking about dropping out of high school. There are many reasons as to why dropping out is becoming more and more common. In today's society, the involvement of a parent in a child's education is decreasing. An estimated 18% of kids in grades kindergarten through 12th grade did not have a parent who attended a general meeting, a parent-teacher conference, or a school or class event. This statistic almost directly relates to the percentage of students who do eventually drop out. As you can see, the involvement of a parent in a child education is vital. But how do we get that involvement? See, I believe the solution is to provide incentives to the student to make it worth it for them to go to their parents 
and motivate their parents to come to these events. There's another factor that contributes to dropping out. That is financial burden. Students these days are faced with stress of school and it doesn't help that outside of school, they need to provide for their family. Students might not be frustrated or even uninterested in school. They might even enjoy school, but due to their financial situation at home, they consequently have to drop out. It doesn't help that 17% of these students receive, only 17% receive financial support from the government, such as food stamps or social security. Students shouldn't have to sacrifice their future to attend to their family's short-term financial problems. I believe that the solution for this is to, for the government to provide more assistance, more than 17% at least, to these students. Because when you calculate how much it costs, it costs taxpayers $290,000 for each dropout. Spread that among 3.3 million dropouts every year, that really adds up. Thank you. My name is Lily Silva and today I'm going to show you some solutions to the big question asked. How to keep students from dropping out. First, I'm going to show you some things parents can do. Communication. Keeping a good line of communication with your child is really important from a young age. Teens are used to hiding things. It's just their personality. But if there's good understanding coming from the parents, there would be no need to hide problems. Talk about careers. Informing kids from a young age about different paths can help them have a good goal set for their future. Normally, you talk about your personal experience can help too. If you are a dropout, that might inspire them to learn from your mistakes. Or if you're a good successful graduate, they're going to follow your role model. Stay in touch with school. Teachers get to see your child on an academic environment point of view. So if you're concerned that your kid might be considering dropping out, you might want to get in touch with with their teachers. Talk, check on grades and behavior. Normally kids that don't want to continue school are those who misbehave and just don't do work. Encourage breaks. Students normally feel stressed about school and that's what makes them consider quitting. Taking them on a vacation is, gr is a great opportunity for them to take their mind off of school. For a little, some parents might even consider homeschool as a break from school. It's still a school it's still school, but it might be less stressing for some students. Now what schools can do. Early intervention. Create more structure and implement more individual help from counselors to motivate students to stay focused. Tutoring. If normal after school tutoring with their teachers is not helping your student, you might wanna try programs such as Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America and the Boys and Girls Club of America. Those have been proven effective when it comes to helping high-risk students stay in task and graduate. Be honest with them. Showing, more, showing students more statistics about the sad reality of dropouts who earn, who earn at least $9,200 less than those with a high school diploma, according to the National Dropout Prevention Center. Classroom coaches. For example, the Austin Independent School District in Texas has created a program to build a better classroom community, providing career coaching, advisement, life coaching, and one-to-one -one relationships with students and adults. This model has proven successful and now utilizes help of hundreds of volunteers each year to help students. What students can do. Doing homework in time can reduce the stress made doing homework last minute. I myself am a big procrastinator, so that's a big problem for me. Um, don't be scared to ask for help for any faculty, staff, or your parents, someone who you trust. Uh, setting a schedule and sticking to it. Dr. Patel says discipline, not intelligence, is a key to success. Which basically means that you don't necessarily have to be super smart but just setting a schedule like alarms and reminders to stay focused on your task can also help to be successful. Normally, students who drop out are those who start doing drugs and fall into that addiction. As a high school student, there's a lot of stress put into us. For some, it seems easier to try and feel relaxed with drugs, but it shouldn't be an option at all. Try considering different things to take your mind off of school. I, for example, 
take uh, dyeing my hair and cutting it as a relaxation or a hobby, I guess. So right now it's like four different colors, but it's fine. Uh, you might want to consider sports or other hobbies to take your mind off of school. So in conclusion, school dropout deeply causes harm to a successful future. High school dropout only continues the cycle of poverty. A good education is key to ending the poverty within your youth. Implementation of effective early prevention is essential to end high school dropout.